Hey guys, Ethan K with a quick video. <laughs> There's been a lot of them coming this week. Um, this is on a lightsaber that I did. A, uh, I wanted to do a video on. I didn't get a chance to. Um, it's been the uh, feature saber in some of my <clears throat> some of my videos with RGB technology. And this here is the uh, Saber Forge Resilient. Now, um, I did actually buy this from Saber Forge. This was a hilt that I bought off of eBay. It was a brand new ASP uh, Saber Forge hilt. Um, the guy had it installed with the plug and play stunt tier yellow. So that's what it was in the beginning. Um, I liked the yellow electronics, but I thought this hilt had a lot of uh, possibility. And so, even more so with it being an ASP hilt. If you can see right here and right there is the is the uh, threading that you can pull off the emitter and the body off of the switch section. And so that gave, you know, that gave me a lot of ideas for what I could do with this. Um, I have been uh, doing a commission for a friend of mine a year or two ago on a Pico Crumble Dark Side V2 and it it didn't fall through. It was the board wasn't working correctly. Um, you would hook it up with the correct wires and stuff, and it wouldn't cycle. So I sent it to uh, a guy at Plector Labs, and he repaired it. So that was cool. But in the meantime, my friend just decided he just wanted to do a stunt configuration. So uh, in the end, I had a uh, Saber Forge metal hilt, and I had a Pico Crumble. Uh, you know, basically, brand new board, refurbished, whatever. So I went ahead, bought battery. Uh, um, 12 millimeters AV switch, uh, RGB, uh, Cree LED off of ledsupply.com for like 15 bucks. And I bought a high base 28 millimeter speaker. I love that speaker. It is incredible. <laughs> it's so crisp and loud and stuff. I know uh, Shamim is a big fan of those and I can see why. They are really awesome. So I'm just going to do, you know, I'm trying to make this a brief video. Um, so overall thoughts on the hilt. If I had ordered from Saber Forge myself, I probably would not have gotten the Saber Forge Resilient. But this was actually a really great price. It was with a Saber stand, the charger, battery, cover tech, like it was a, it was a cover tech wheel D-ring clip. Um, and this whole hilt blade was 175 bucks. That's for a stunt apprentice hilt. Um, these are elite hilts, so this was like $195, I think, or yeah, whatever the standard price is for empty elite hilts. So, <clears throat> you know, it was like 35 bucks off, practically, of what the next uh, price of the hilt would have been. So, I snagged it. It was had like another day left, um, and no one was bidding on it. And so I picked myself up a brand new Sabre 4 JSP uh, Yellow Resilient. Now that I've had it, and I've had it for probably almost a year now, I really like it. Um, it would not have been my first choice, but as a hilt that I bought on eBay, I really do like it. It's a really nice, comfortable lightsaber, even without the leather wrap. Um, I do love this section, being this like this nice, kind of dark black anodized finish. Very durable. And it just, it really contrasts nicely, especially because I added my own blade plug. So, that looks really nice to it. it. looks like a SWOTOR design. You, know, you guys know I'm all for that. I do not have a recharge port, so I kept the dummy switch in. Um, but this is a Gladius pommel. I don't think the same... I think the Resilient shares the same pommel as the Gladius. So, yeah, but this was a you know, really nice hilt to get. You can see your uh, LED retention screw and then your blade retention screw. Uh, I've battled with it. You know, it creaks a little bit, you know, because it's not one solid piece, but overall it's a very durable dueling lightsaber. Um, I would have to say, you know, as much as Saber Forge gets a bad rap, their quality has definitely gotten a lot better in terms of their hilts, you know, because this is a really nice hilt. You know, and like I said, I probably would not have bought this if I had bought it off of Saber Forge. I probably would have gone for a Gladius or something, um, you know, something that they sell a lot of, but <laughs> but, um, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of YouTube reviews on these, so I thought I might as well do one. And so this is my review of the Saber Forge Resilient. So if any of you guys are considering buying one of these, if you like the design, then I would definitely recommend getting it. You know, it's a very comfortable 
lightsaber because if you're using all of the parts, you know, if you're not mixing out other ones with the ASP system, you can grip your hand here, and if you have a recessed switch, you know, sometimes your hand will bump it. I just turned the saber on. <laughs> but if you put your hand here and here, you get really nice, really nice flow and grip on the saber. So, just turn the saber on. This is kind of like a reactor blade hood. So, really nice uh, hilt, you know, see, it's kind of a reactor blade plug. I'm using like a little brass knob down in the center, which almost, it's like an energy gate, like it emits the light and stuff, so it's a pretty cool lightsaber. You can kind of imagine the energy beam coming out of the hilt. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I just thought I'd go ahead and give you guys the, uh, the review of this hilt. Uh, I definitely would recommend it uh, to anyone who looking at this hilt so you know I've had it for a while now and I thought you know what maybe better to do a review once you've had it and to, that you can give an honest uh, honest um, review of it and so like I said I've had it for a while and it's a pretty nice hilt so I'm just gonna before I turn the lights off I'm just gonna turn this on and I've got this in a light purple now for those of you who did not see my one video, I had mentioned that the Pico Crumble, even though I hooked everything correctly, the RGB and stuff, it was still having trouble cycling the colors. So <coughs> I had resistors on green and blue, and it wasn't color, it wasn't functioning properly. So I went ahead and I switched blue and green. And so I got all the colors, but they're somewhat different. So this is a violet. <laughs> Like a uh, like a lavender violet. It looks blue until we'll turn the lights off. And so we're just gonna go. <laughs> okay, so so this is the brilliant kind of mace window violet you get. Don't hit any lights. Oh, oh my sister. Well, wait, we don't have my sister. Now we're just going to turn, just cycle through the colors real quick. It has the most annoying beeping, which I hate. So we just turn the saber completely off, and then we're going to cycle through the colors. It's very loud, too, with all the beeping and stuff. Okay, here we go. Now we're on to like a pink. I must say, the pinks are probably the brightest colors on this board. You know, I do like pink lightsabers, so... You know, I, 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 would, I would not get one in like a single pink, but it is a fun color to have because they are very bright on this board. And they only get brighter from here. And this is like pretty cool. It's like a Bane's heart from Ultra Sabers. And then we get to red. Well, now we're at orange, which is a very nice color. I love orange. We're at, I guess they call it amber, but it's still kind of a, like a pumpkin orange. This yellow is probably the exact color in real life as Arkin's lightsaber from uh, the Eternal Empire. So I'll give you a pretty good idea of what the color looks like, like that. Okay, green. This is Viridian, I believe is what, uh, what Sidious Sabres did a video. I believe this is Viridian because it has a, it's a light green with kind of shades of different colors going on. This is more of a mint green. Which is, I think is really nice. Uh, kind of like an arctic blue and or cyan. Okay, so that was cyan. Um, then you got blue. And there's no change because the uh, board was hooked up differently. So one should have been blue and then deep blue. But they're just the same color blue. So it's kind of a waste of a color space. And then back to purple. So we'll just... Alright, let's cycle. Let's cycle to this one. That's a cool color. Goes really nice with the yellow or the uh, silver and black. Let's see 
hear the swinging. Now I get a purple flash on Clash because I wired it up differently, so that really makes for a nice contrast. So that is my review for the Sabre Forge uh, Resilient with the um, Pico Crumble V2 Darkside install. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.